And then, out of the darkness, came a bone-chilling noise. What was it? Hmm. Are young ones like you ready? It is a story that will make your fur stand up straight. We are! We are! Tell us the story, Rafiki! Please! Yeah! We want to hear it! We all want to hear the story, Rafiki. Very well. Where was I? Oh, yes. They heard a bone-chilling noise. The call of the Zimwi. What's a Zimwi? The Zimwi is a terrifying beast! <laughs> But it only comes into the Pride Lands on the night of the full moon. Hey, tonight's a full moon! <gasps> huh. So it is. Then it is on a night like tonight that you might hear the Zimwi's call. <gasps> what was that? Who's that? The Zimwi? <gasps> Whoever you are, come out and show yourself! <gasps> You heard me! Come out! Kion! Oh, hey everybody! I thought I recognized that bellow! Me too! But why are you bellowing so late? I need to practice. Tomorrow I'll be bellowing for the bellow fellows! Bellow fellows? Uh, that sounds nice. It's Poa. If they like me, I'll get to bellow all the time with them. It's gonna be so much fun! We are running out of time. Okay, let's think. What do we have to go on? The Listen Up Club and this tuning fork. something scary and think it was the Zimwi? Uh, yeah. Of course. So you huddled together and stuck out your quills to make yourselves look bigger. Then the rhino saw you like that and thought you were the Zimwi. And so did we. Don't feel bad, Bestie. I think everyone was so spooked by Rafiki's story, they were ready to believe anything. Wait a second. What about their ginormous Zimwi body? Over here. Termite mound. Mmm, termites! Excuse me. We ran up there when the Zimwi, I mean you guys, were chasing us. All this time, the Zimwi was just two little porky vines. It's time I put him in. Rapunzel! You have no idea how worried I was. I love you so much, darling. You mean everything to me. Dad... I love you too.